Hi everyone, this is Jimmy Lopez, Education Chair of the RMPA Board of Directors. We get a lot of questions regarding what's available for members in regards to education reimbursement, and we put together this video series to help our membership understand our education reimbursement program. Funds that are currently available to the RMPA membership are defined by the MOU, or Memorandum of Understanding. This is essentially the contract that is negotiated between RMPA and the County of Santa Clara. Our current contract is effective from January 27, 2020 through October 29, 2023. This includes three articles that address educational benefits for members. Article 11.6 describes benefits in regards to education leave. Article 12.1 discusses professional development. Article 12.2 describes tuition reimbursement. All coded RMPA classifications are eligible for these benefits. Currently, our per diem and extra help are not. Tuition reimbursement. Tuition reimbursement. These funds are set aside for tuition reimbursement in textbooks. Funds are limited per fiscal period and are available until exhausted. It's distributed on a first come first served basis. Here is the funds distribution schedule for quarter. A new set of funds are available at the start of every quarter. What this means to you is that requests made at the beginning of the quarter are more likely to be reimbursed. Requests made towards the end of the quarter are more likely to result in funds being exhausted or no longer available. Let's use the first quarter of 2022 to 2023 fiscal year as an example. If a member submits a claim on June 30th, that fiscal period has been active since April 1st, 2022, so that the member may receive notice that the educational funds for that period have already been exhausted. If the claim is filed just two days later on July 2nd, the funds would have been restored and will likely be available to claim. This may be confusing to some of our members, but it is intended to evenly distribute the available funds over the course of the current contract. So what gets reimbursed? Tuition reimbursement offers 75% of expenses up to the amount of $1,200 for all coded RMPA classifications. Criteria eligibility describes that reimbursement cannot be received from any other source. Training must be related to members' occupational area or have value to the county. Reimbursement should be requested at least 10 days prior to the commencement of the course, and substitute courses may be approved if the approved courses are unavailable. This is, of course, assuming funds are available during the period applied. Just to clarify when referring to not receiving reimbursement from other sources, this is specific to the amount claimed. If a member pays $5,000 in tuition for an MSN program, for example, and has received $1,000 in scholarships, they can still submit a claim for the remaining amount to receive $1,200 towards their tuition. Here are the steps on how to submit a claim for tuition reimbursement. You must access the application via the intranet through the HHS Connect icon on any county desktop. There you can click on the upper right hand corner under employment. To access the education reimbursement program page, you have to go under Frequently Used Forms and click on the Education Reimbursement hyperlink. Here is the current view of the Tuition Reimbursement homepage. The available allowance is visible on the right-hand side of the page for both professional development and tuition reimbursement. There is also a list of claims for the current fiscal year. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can submit a new claim or check the status of an existing claim. To check the status of a claim, Click My Claims on the previous page and it will bring you to the My Claims screen. Here you can access your claims and check the status. Potential status updates may include claims that are canceled, denied, pending approval, paid complete, which means money was sent and requirements have been met, or paid incomplete, which usually means the money was sent and is still awaiting proof of completion in the form of CEU certificate or grade report. Now let's go over the process of submitting a new claim. On the left hand side where it is circled in red, you can see where it says submit a new claim. That is where you're going to select. Once you open the new claim, you will need to select the type of reimbursement you are applying for. Available funds will vary depending on classification. A clinical nurse or A&M may see the view on the left hand side with options including RMPA license, professional memberships, and tuition reimbursement. An NP or a clinical nurse specialist classification may notice the options are worded differently. 
Options include license, professional development, and tuition reimbursement. When submitting a claim for BRN licensure, remember to include a description of the reimbursement. Remember that claims must be submitted within 60 days of expiration to be eligible for a reimbursement. Follow the prompts to complete your claim and submit proof of payment as well as proof of license renewal. BRN licensure is reimbursed at 100%. However, the system is currently still defaulting to previous reimbursement amounts and is currently unable to calculate the full 100%. This is a question frequently asked as the amount for reimbursement does not often match 100% requested. The county is aware of this system's issue and has added a disclaimer on the welcome screen reassuring our members that 100% will be updated manually until the system enhancement is implemented. RN, NP, and CRNA licensure are currently available for reimbursement and this amount will be debited from the Professional Development Fund. When submitting a claim for tuition reimbursement, the system prompts you to enter the beginning and end dates of your claim. There are several pre-selected event providers available in a drop-down menu. If your event provider is not available, you can manually enter the information by selecting the box below the drop-down menu. As you navigate through the application, you will be prompted to add attachments for your claim. These include proof of cost, proof of payment, and proof of completion. The claim can be submitted without proof of completion, but the claim will remain open until proof of completion is provided. If the claim is approved, the funds will be paid, but the claim will be marked as incomplete. Proof of completion will be required within two months of the class end date. Prior to submitting the claim, you will need to review and acknowledge that you have read, understand, and agree to the terms and conditions. Please note the date in which all required documents must be received. As discussed previously, all documents must be received within two months of class completion. If proof of completion is not received within 60 days of the event end date, the county reserves the right to deduct funds reimbursed from your paycheck. This may also be done if employment with the county ends prior to the completion date. Please note that the county will deduct one half of the reimbursement amount in the event employment with the county ends within a year of the training completion date. Please submit proof of completion as early as possible and within 60 days of the end date in order to avoid unnecessary deductions. Once a claim is submitted, proof of completion can be uploaded at a later date by selecting Edit on the right-hand side of the homepage or by viewing the status of a claim under the My Claims tab. Remember that all coded RMPA classifications are eligible for tuition reimbursement. These funds are defined in our contract with the county, which expires on October 29, 2023. Current funds available include professional development as well as tuition reimbursement. Educational leave hours are also available as educational assistance. RNPA encourages all members to utilize any available funds. Thank you everyone for joining. I hope you found these slides helpful. If you do have any additional questions, please feel free to call us at 408-292-6061. Have a great day.